A huge scientific and moral debate is brewing tonight after a landmark decision in the UK where the Ethics Council gave the green light to genetically modified babies, meaning that parents could choose what DNA they do and do not want their children to have. The Guardian newspaper writing, quote, the UK-based Nuffield Council on Bioethics says changing the DNA of a human embryo could be morally permissible if it is in the child's best interests. Joining me now, Mark Thiessen, American Enterprise Institute scholar and Fox News contributor, and Father Jonathan Morris, Fox News religion analyst. Um, so at this point, you can't create genetically altered babies, but you can edit the genes to prevent certain serious diseases. Father Jonathan, on, on the morality of this, yeah. your thoughts? Anytime you have scientific advances that are for the good of the human being, right? And especially in this case, for the good of the child, wonderful. But when we're using scientific advances for the good of the people who want that child to be something for them, that's when we have problems. A human being can never be um, used as, an, as a means to an end. A human being is an end in and of itself. Uh, and of course, if you had perfectly moral people, uh, then these type of scientific advances would not be a problem. But we know that put into the hands of people who are un imperfect, like all of us, well, there can be some very scary, very scary purposes and, and needs. I, I mean, this is yeah. the basics of medical ethics, when you have the ability yeah. to do something, but then you have to make the decision about whether or not it is ethical or whether or not it's good for humanity and for society. This is a quote from one of the authors of the study, Alan Bradley. He says, this is the first systematic assessment of unexpected events resulting from CRISPR editing, which is what it's called, in therapeutically relevant cells. And we found that changes in the DNA have been seriously underestimated before now. So my unscientific brain mark um, <laughs> in taking a look at this earlier, basically it means that when you do those alterations, you don't know what kind of impact they're going to have on all the other cells that are affected in, in the embryo. Yeah, this is medical experimentation on human beings. Yeah. I mean, it, to do this. I mean, if we alter the, the faulty genes, we don't know what we're doing, what the scientists are doing to the healthy genes. Mm -hmm.